Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for part 2 of Stray. This is a cyberpunk themed game starring a cat that gets lost in the depths of this forgotten city, full of robots, but all the humans have disappeared and we don't quite know why. We started to piece the story together and it seems that this bacteria that the humans once made long long ago formed into these new life forms called Zerks. And these Zerks basically have turned into these parasites, these little bugs that can now eat pretty much anything, even our little cats that we play as. The cat also has a companion which is this AI which we found in an apartment and the AI goes around with us and is able to translate all of these foreign languages from the different robots and translate signs on the street and also this AI seems to be from back when the humans were around as well so I think from that AI as he recovers his memories we're gonna find out more. But with that said guys if you've already checked out part one I'm sure you know exactly where we are in the story we're gonna dive right back in and continue where we left off. Okay we're back in Momo's apartment but it doesn't seem like Momo is about actually. What's this? We've got a note. Momo's note. Ooh, look, a note. Yeah, so Momo isn't here, he's left us a note to read. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent, so this is Momo speaking to us now on the note. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of the antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is... Well, that, that is not simple, my guy. That is a very specific code that I'm not going to remember. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar, and that's from Momo. That code must be for the window near the entrance, let's go. So I think this is where we leave, we'll use B12 to open the door. Here's the lock for the window, the code was, hmm, I think an H I think. Oh, entered the wrong key, whoops my bad. Okay let's try that again, um, and then it was an O or was it a zero? Let's see. Success! It worked. Somehow he remembered that really complex code. Momo is at the bar waiting for us. Well, we better not keep him waiting then. Let's go. All right, here we go. We're at the bar and here he is. Hey, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. Okay, in we go then. Look, he's very hurried. He shuffles to the seat. The animations of this game are just wild. Up there, okay. You want me to join you? Aww, give us a little pet. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Hmm. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Balthazar? Momo? I I can't believe this. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Balthazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Okay. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Oh, great. We're going to have a whole infestation of Zerks in the sewers. Darn it, we've lost a signal, says Momo. I can't believe it, Balthazar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Balthazar made it, there must be a way. He's just had an idea. So we've got Seamus here. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with Zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business isn't none of my business. So Seamus is off. He doesn't want anything to do with it. We actually saw him sleeping at the bar in episode one. Ugh, Seamus. His father, Dark, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapons to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test that device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus, he's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the outsiders. In this notebook, Doc mentions a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Okay, so let's follow Momo. We're going over to Seamus' apartment. It sounds like his father was the Doc character and he kind of went away 
looking for answers and never returned. So I guess we're trying to discover if he's still alive, if he is indeed dead, and get Seamus to start like helping us along because we need access to his dad's lab, to the doc's lab, so that we can actually like figure out a way to destroy the Zerks once and for all, you know? And sorry about that, we just stepped through the paint that was outside the uh, laundry lady's house. Do apologize for that, madam. Right, is this the apartment we need? It seems like it might be. Knock, knock on the door. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you, I think I have an idea. Alright. What are you going to do? Ooh, look, a secret little hidey hole. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try and re-establish communication with the others. Alright. He's gonna go. We'll go in here. Here he is, just asleep. <laughs> what are you doing here? I told you, getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. Alright, well, how about we just give you this Doc's notebook? What is this? Is this my papa's? Oh, wow. I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? This game is very to the point. It doesn't, like, talk for ages. The characters just go, we need to do this next. So we need to find, like, a secret entrance in this flat. Maybe behind the picture? As so we can uh, interact with it? Nope. But we have got a... Digicode here, okay. I don't know what that's going to be yet, though. Oh, here's a picture of Seamus and his father together. So they're kind of like hanging out. So that is what the doc looks like. He does look very much like a crazy mad scientist. Maybe there will be the code behind this picture. Got something. Time will tell. What does that mean? Time will tell. There's some clocks over here. Wait a second. There's four clocks. And a keypad generally has four digits. So maybe we try reading the clocks. So that'll be two, five, one, one, I think. Let's talk to Seamus though first. I've never noticed that digit code before. How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password could be. I think we know what it is. Two, five, one, one. Yeah, it works. Nice. I like puzzles that make sense like that, you know, not head scratches that take me ages. What have we got in here? This is his secret lab then. I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real-life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. Maybe we go looking for him. Maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's alive still, Seamus. You gotta have some faith, my guy. Let me have a look at this. Look at that floating... Um... Can't get a proper look at it. That floating... Little uh, Zerk. Strange. Observations. Cute sounds, but never friendly. So this is talking about the Zerks. Old bacteria of human time. Eat all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to intense light. Maybe we can shine our flashlight on them as well. Find anything interesting in here? Not yet. Don't break that glass though, because it's still alive. Oh, what's this? Robots news headlines. Zerk are now officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. Ooh, they're quite powerful, their jaws, then. Translate this. Concept, light-based handgun. Low priorities are the visual appearance, the size, and the decibel emitted. High priority is testing in real-life condition. The objective is 20 Zerk destroyed per second. 
Nice. Hopefully that weapon exists somewhere and we can equip it. Ah, look, there's another box. We can maybe knock this off. Yes, we've got a broken tracker. Okay, can we talk to Seamus again now? Find anything interesting, we'll show him the tracker. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used the tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find out where he went. I can't believe my papa still might be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so that we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me, I'll open up the door for you. I actually know who will help. Guys, do you remember in episode one, we gave that guy, I think he's called Elliot, the uh, poncho to keep him warm. And he was like a hacker computer. He was like a hacker robot, sorry. He said, if you ever need anything fixed, just come back to me. So that would suggest that we need to go back to Elliot and see if he can fix this receiver. Because it's the only person I can think that would be able to do that. So it paid off doing the side quests in episode one. Yeah, Elliot programming, here we are. Let's knock on the door. Here he is. Oh no, that's not Elliot, is it? That's his like housemate. So we want to go up here and talk to Elliot. Ask him about the tracker. Thanks for the poncho. Please come and see me if you ever need anything fixed. Well, we actually have something we need to be fixed, and it's this. Oh, wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? Let me take a look. Just got to give it an update, and one more thing, voila. Nice. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. Cool, thanks, Elliot. Cheers for that. Assist there. Right, let's talk with Seamus. Did you manage to find the tracker? Or fix the tracker, I should say. You did? You fixed it. Well done. Give it here. All right. Calm down. Hold your horses. Plenty of time to look at the tracker. He knows exactly what to do with it by the look of it. Maybe we can get in touch with the dock. We got a ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find out where my Papa went. Maybe, that would be nice for him if his dad's still alive, you know? Let's just follow it and see where it goes though. It's gonna meow at different things. She is not happy after that spill. We caused that as well, I kind of feel bad for her. But not bad enough that I'm not going to run through that paint and leave paw prints all over the place. Back up towards the people with the fire, with a little campfire up here. Give them a little rub around their legs, I think. There you go. It's got to be done, hasn't it? It has got to be done. Through this door, it looks like. But it says no entry. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Okay, I guess we're going to a new area. But it seems, if you look at the sign to the right of the screen, guys, like there's going to be loads of Zerks in here. So this is probably going to be a very bad idea. Yep, there's already a nest. There's already an infestation as soon as we walk through the door. Oh well. We can defend ourselves. Actually we can't, can we? Let's have a little look around here. Wait, he's been very cautious. Do you know the code? Look at these little Zerk eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it and he will know that you're a friend. Okay, we've got the outsider badge. 
I'll open the door for you. Well, I guess thanks for opening the door at least. See you later. We'll just go and do your mission. A mission of certain death. Don't uh, break a sweat, right? Okay, guys. Let's do this. I'm just going to have a check round in case there are any memories. Oh, we have got a memory already. Nice. Because these memories give us backstory, so it's important to get them. Look at how huge this wall is. I remember it was a symbol of a division between those in the slums and those in Midtown. That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Maybe so. We're missing one memory. And I think it says there's two in the area we're currently in left. So we'll be on the lookout for those. But for now, we've got to go into this no entry area. Dead end. Oh no, I didn't mean to go down. Okay, we've got already Zerks. Let's run. And jump. It's going well so far. It's going well so far. Oh no, we've got loads. 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 These things can just overwhelm you in seconds. One tactic I have learned that is quite good is that if you bob and weave, generally you can avoid them. Not always though. But if you bob and weave, you can generally avoid them. So you like kind of snake like this. It confuses their movement a little bit. Like that, as you see it works. Oh, that's a dead end. Okay, so... Uh, ah, get off me! Man, where do we go? Where do we go? Up here, up here. Okay, are we safe? I don't think they can get up here. Which is good. Because I was going to say I didn't know where to go, but we jump on this. Where do we go now? I think it's one of those puzzles where we have to jump back and then jump back again. Yeah. Because our momentum is what moves that beam, so we have to keep jumping on it. Across. We made it to the other side. Oh. What the heck? We're on a... We're on little carts. Can we squish them? Yes. It's time for some revenge. Whoa. Okay. Oh, no. His poor bones. He keeps getting tossed around this cat. I don't like it. That's the only aspect of the game I'm not so keen on. Seeing the cat get injured. Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. Is our cat okay? Oh, he's hobbling about. Poor little kitty. Are you alright? Oh. He's alright. He's picking up speed again. He's having a little clean now. Okay, we're good. We're good. Panic over. Where do we go now, though? Maybe climb up? Yeah, it looks like we have to go up. But how did the dock climb up this way? Surely he wasn't able to. It's kind of nice though now, kind of peaceful. The sounds of running water. There's a lot of trash about, but never mind. Where are we going next? We need to get over here somehow. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I was kind of stuck then, I didn't know how to get back up. Well, this doesn't look good. We've got a massive nest of zerks all around this house. And an open window up there as well, actually. And a basketball. Hey! Can we do anything with a basketball? It'd be cool if, like, you could play basketball with it. I'm just going to have a quick look around this area in case there's any memories tucked away anywhere. It looks like this was a kind of area of the town that was just abandoned because the Zerks got out of control. Their like, nests overtook this marketplace and it just fell into a state of decay pretty much. No one lives here anymore and it's all been like sealed off. But maybe we need to get over to that house and see if that's where the dock is actually holed up. He could still be alive after all. Now, let's hope none of these eggs hatch as we're exploring. Oh, look, a window there. Is there anything else we can do before we go in? 
Nope, we're clear. Through the window we go. Wait a second. Why are the Zerks in a cage? Living ones. Maybe the Doctor is alive. Maybe he's in here. Yep, look, he's on the table here. <laughs> Sorry about that. We have just come to rescue you, though. Whoa! Wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Can't we use that weapon you were building, my friend? The signal's been lost on his computer. Ooh, we got a memory look. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around making lots of noise. So children, basically. Oh yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? Yeah, it's like the different kind of robots have emotions just like people now, right? Like they've developed emotions. Oh, look. Is this a weapon? I think it might be. Hey, be careful with that defluxer. At full charge, it can explode zerks like confetti. This baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work, and the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside this house. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew, and with all those zerks around, it's far too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Okay. So, we're going out to kick some ass. Well, if we can charge it up, we are. If we can charge this thing up, we're going to be able to blast all of those zerks. It's going to feel satisfying. Well, I don't know how we would wield that. Maybe the doctor needs to wield it for us, you know. Unless he can, like, modify it in some way, fit it to our drone. <laughs> That'd be kind of sick. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Nice. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, and then meet me back here. Sounds simple enough. Best of luck. Alright, let's go. A simple task. Follow the cable is step one. So that's what we're going to begin with. Just follow it down. Cross the bridge. And into the little marketplace here. And then we just interact with this. And there we go. Nice. Well, it powered up. Seems like it's working. And right on cue, of course, here are all the Zerks because they've heard the noise. Oh, but Doc's spotting us, look, with the light. So we've just got to make sure that we, I guess, stay in his beam of light or at least kind of lead the uh, enemies into the light now. Because they don't like the light, do they? So to us, because it's just, like, really bright light, it doesn't actually affect the cat, other than maybe blinding its eyes a little bit. I think that's all of them. Thanks, my dude. Great shots. Good work. You're a sharp shooter for sure. Now, let's see. Back to the apartment, I guess. Oh, maybe not. Ah, get off me! Right, let's go. Because we haven't actually died yet, so... Yeah, things are going well. Did he get them already? You've actually got the skills, my guy. Right, there we go, guys. We've got back. I think we can call that a successful mission, right? He certainly seems to be celebrating. He's really going for it. <laughs> Making really funny noises. Amazing! You got the generator back on. 
Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute, I might be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. Well, go ahead then, man. Enough of with the talk. Get on with it. I don't know why I'm so bossy towards him. I'm just excited. We're finally getting a weapon to fight back against those pesky zerks. Thumbs up. It worked. The defluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now, let's get back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Yes, you are. We're all going to get home safe and sound. Nice. Oh, we've already got some. So how do we use this thing? Can we blast them? Take out those zerks so we can get through. Use L1. Okay. Ah, nice. That worked a treat. Wow, it's working great. But, as I suspected, it can overheat. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. I hope it will last for the rest of the game. You know, I just hope it lasts until right until those credits roll. Okay. So, um, what do we need to do here? The switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. Okay. Well, there's another rolling barrel puzzle here. Had plenty of these so far. There's another one here as well, actually. Can we roll this? Do we need to get up on that thing, I wonder, maybe? Oh, no, there's a vent. Look, there's a vent beyond it. Here we go. Stop that there. Yeah. Bad barrel. Okay, here we go. Into the vents. Who wants to bet we're going to get to try out our new weapon very soon? Good kitty. Straight away, in fact. Oh, wow. Well, that was actually sharp shooting right there. Yeah, it has a little bar by the side of it, a heat meter, which rises when we use it. Oh no, he's being attacked! Get away from him. Quick, inside, inside. We have to pace ourselves. Oh no, it's run out of fuel. It's run out of fuel. We're gonna wait till it recharges. There we go. Just in the nick of time. You happy with us? Phew, that was close. Let's go back home. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Let's get out of here. Are we out of the woods yet, though? That's the question. Or are there going to be more of those horrible bacterial things? Cheers, man. I reckon when he starts opening this door, more are going to start pouring out of all the vents and stuff, and we're going to have to protect him again. Maybe not, actually. He seems to have just gone straight through that. Oh, I think. Yeah, we're back in the opening area. Nice. Okay, well, we made it back all right then. That was a bit anticlimactic, you know, because I thought it was going to be more of a like an action set piece then. But look, they're reunited. Father and son. Seamus and the Doc. Aww. This game, despite the fact that it contains a lot of robots, is kind of touching at times. I would say wholesome is the right word, maybe. There we are. We got... Did he just put something on us? 
Thanks to saving Doc, little friend, it's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Right, okay, cool. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. Me too. Talk with Teddy. This is really impressive, Doc. Nobody had survived that long in a dead city. So, you survived the Zerks after all? Do you have the 10 cans you owe me? They still want their, uh, they still want their energy drinks. Hi Teddy, what's up Rosie? Oh Billy, do you know my son Seamus? It's thanks to him that I came back from that damn place. They're just all chatting all amongst themselves there. I actually want to see the merchant again, because I think we got enough cans to actually get this. Hello again, what do you want now? This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. It will cost you three energy drink cans, I can't do it for less. Okay, here you go. Nice, so we can remember, this is actually a memory, this is good then. This is an early model of a companion. Back then they didn't have any personality. They were just glorified autonomous cleaners. So you have robots started off just as normal robots. I think it's nice that they eventually mimicked humans. It's like they missed them, and in a way, they kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. Oh, we completed them. Look, we've missed one. We missed one and it's in the area we can't go back to. That's really annoying. Let's hope it wasn't too important. Now let's head over to this guy and see if we can go down into the sewers. I think this is Seamus, right? Oh no, this is Benzu. Momo is waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but have you done everything you wanted in here? Because I'll close the door behind you. We don't want any Zerks coming through. Yeah, well I've done everything I think. Let's say goodbye to the city guys. It's been fun, but it's time to move on. On to the sewers. I feel that this will be a lot more challenging than any previous mission because you know, the sewers, it's away from civilization. Oh, there he goes, he's just waving to us. Look, hello, hello, back to you, Momo. But yeah, we're going into Zerk territory now. Let's just check if there's anything in here to miss. Doesn't look like it. Right, so let's board the boat. I can't believe you found Doc and got the defluxer. With this, now we can go to find Balthazar. Let's go. Yeah, sounds good, man. Let's go. Heading into the depths of the sewers. The sewers. Ominous from the start. Look at this place. We talk to this guy? This place is creepy. Sure is. We've got a flashlight, right? Yeah, there we go. We'll light our way up a little bit. It would be super creepy, most sewers, because no one would have been down there in, like, I don't know, decades? Well, hundreds of years, actually, because the robots said they're, like, hundreds of years old, so... Yeah, the humans wouldn't have been down here for a long time. I think he said so. No, just the same thing as always. At least we've got our new weapon. Do we still have that? Yeah, we still have it. So we can defeat those pesky Zerks with this gun. He's actually attached it to the droid. What was that? Look at his little face. I think he means we have to get off gotta open the gate for him look there's no way for him to get through so over we go now do we want to check for memories we don't want to miss any more <gasps> look at all those zerk eggs 
And we actually need to get to the lever. Of course, it's right above the Zerk eggs. I don't think there's any memories in this area. Oh, nice. We can just blast them. Oh, no. No, we cannot. We can blast them, but then they will hatch out. Go, go, go. Easy. Makes the game really nice and easy, that. And here comes Momo on his boat. Good old dependable Momo. And our adventure continues. Onward, slave. <laughs> I've never been this far out of the slums before. With you here, I'm not even scared. It's alright, man. It's nice to have your company too. We're in this together, we're a team. We'll call ourselves Team. Team Robocat. There we go. Look, there's a dock over there. And a door as well, actually. This place seems pretty free of eggs as well, so we might be okay in this room. Right, he's bringing us ashore. Oh nice, we actually didn't have to do anything that time, he just opens the door for us. I spoke too soon, I imagine saying that and then it just breaks. All this old machinery is broken now. I think we can only open it manually. Okay. Oh, is he going to pull the chain? Ah, I thought we had to actually do something, but he's just going to open it with, uh, with that chain there, because he's very strong, of course, being a robot. However, I'm guessing that means we have to go on our own, right? Gah, I can't go on with you, but mm, I won't stop looking for a way. When you find Balthazar and Clementine, tell them that I was brave. Okay, well, you're just going to stay behind, are you? Hopefully he can get back okay. Wait, this doesn't look good. I was too focused on that guy. I didn't realize this whole place is made out of, like, meat or something. Look at those robots just stuck in here. So this must be the main hive where all the Zerk live. And this is very horror bro-esque, you know? <laughs> this is something you'd expect Super Horror Bro to be playing, isn't it? So I am now feel happy I've got the playthrough on my horror channel of this game because, well, it certainly feels very horror-like at the moment. I'm going to sidestep these. Be very careful. Oh! Look, there's a little entrance down there. So the question is, can we make it to the entrance? Yes. I just ran for it. I was like, screw this. I'm going. And we've got a memory. The sewer system. Yes, I remember now. Clean water was scarce. The city was supplied by huge machinery that dug deep into the earth. Just like everyone else, it was rationed out to sustain people during times of drought. The scientists showed me the blueprint of the water tanks. They are huge and could contain a whole building in them. That's pretty big. 51% of memories collected now. Okay, now we're going to have all these guys to deal with. Also, just use our light to destroy them, maybe, you know? Okay, we've got loads of Zerks over there, all waiting for us. But I'm not scared. Not when we've got this weapon now. In fact, I welcome the thrill of the action, you know? Can we jump down or do we jump across? Looks like we go across. 
They're not actually attacking. That concerns me a little bit. Alright, I'm going to sidestep. Security cameras again. This place was very monitored. I'm guessing the humans above, that lived above the slums, like to keep an eye on what people were doing down here. Right, here we go. Open the door. Oh no, we've just let loads in. Okay, it's fine. This way? Oh no, we've got more. Screw you. Oh no. Did he get attacked? Oh, God, there's loads. What the heck? What the hell? Guys, look at the eyes. It's like little nightmares. The eyes all on the walls. And I'm not looking where I'm going either. You know what? Screw you. What are these eyes all about? I'm too busy looking at the eyes. We need to keep going. Go! We made it, we made it, we made it. Are we safe? They don't follow us, right? Those eyes were so weird. I was like just chatting away and then I was like, what? And there's all these weird looking eyes on the wall. So, have they like... Why were the eyes though? Is it because they're meant to be kind of like... Um, these, these are obviously bacteria and they're just evolving and evolving and getting more and more like dangerous. So now they're starting to become like these huge eyeballs just attached to the wall. Because it is just bacteria growing, isn't it? Look, you can actually see little eyeballs developing in there as well, which is really gross. Can we go through here? Nope. This thing's overheating. Man, I hate those things. They're like leeches. They start sucking your blood when they grab you. Right, I'm going to try and avoid all the eggs. We can go over here, we can get to the door. Open the door lock. Nice. Oh, that was only one part though. We need to get over to this side and do the other one. So, oh my god, the eyes have all emerged. They've all woken up. That's actually really creepy. This does feel like a full-blown horror game now. At least this section. Oh no, they're all connected like a hive mind. Alright, I'm running. I'm running. No! Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! I'm gonna die, guys, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Come on, they were some skills right there. He just avoided everything. Open the door lock. I think I can say skills, right? They didn't end up killing us. Right, let's get out of here. This way. Cool, okay. Just want to check around for any memories that might be here. What if I flash the eyes? doesn't do anything. They're too big to get damaged by it. Oh, look, we can scratch. Have a little scratch just to relax ourselves <laughs> after all of that kind of horrificness back there. Is horrificness even a word? I don't think it is. Oh, man, look at this place. Wow, we're right in the heart of it. Okay, I guess we venture out onto the platform. B12, very brave, going on ahead like that. Yeah, it, it, they are connected, aren't they? Because it's calling, that eye was calling to all the others. No, our little cat. B12's coming in for the rescue mission. Oh, he's saving us. Be overheated. 
He overheated trying to save us. That's so sweet. Now we've got to get out of here, guys. Go, go, go. Well, we can't use the laser anymore because B12's knocked out. Go, 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 go. Right, we made it, we made it, we made it. Or maybe we haven't. Nope, there's still more. Go, go, go. Go. This way, this way. They're so fast. No. Double back. That was actually quite smart, I reckon. Oh, no. But we still got grabbed. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're almost out. We made it. Nice. I hope B12's gonna be okay. Come on, little fella. Oh, no. Hey, you're alive. It was dark. I was alone. It felt like I was back in the network. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. The defluxer is now completely destroyed. We'll have to be careful. Okay. Let's hack this. So we can't use the defluxer anymore. Well, at least we got to use it for a little bit. Now where are we going to emerge? Are we out of the sewers yet? Not quite. Oh, wait, this looks like a way out. Yay, I think we're out. There's a robot. Never been so happy to see one of you guys. A traveler from the sewers? We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier? The little outsider. Balthazar the outsider has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. Wow, look at that village. It's like a huge tree, but it's made from like a pylon or a piston or something. The ant village. Goes all the way up to the sky. Very impressive. I feel relaxed again now. That was quite hectic, that last chapter. This machine. The scientist I assisted used one of these. He was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine. But I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He loaded himself into the computer and then everything was different. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. Until a cat appeared. Oh, wait. So he is the human. He's like the last human. Was it? It was. Me. I was the scientist. He's very shocked. I was human. I, I need a moment. That would be a lot to take in. Can you imagine thinking of this AI and then remembering that you are human and you once had a life in a human body and now you're like trapped in this new form in an AI and all your family would be gone, all your friends and every other human being. That'd be hard to process. Uh, I'm sorry. I need a moment. I don't feel like I can talk right now. We can't talk to any of these robots then because, yeah, it's greyed out because he's too sad. He's trying to process all the information we just dropped. Look at these guys just playing their game. Oh! <laughs> Sorry about that. We just, like, ruined it for you. He's like, tut, tut, tut. Look, they're just getting back to work picking up the pieces now. Oh, well. Gotta have our fun, right? Hey, we can climb the tree. Take purple plant. We can't. We can't even take anything 
from the trees. I think we go up. Yeah, up the ladder. What else have I forgotten? I must have had parents, friends. What happened to everyone? I wanted to open the city, but is there even anyone left to save? I doubt it. I mean, isn't it meant to be hundreds of years later? Would the humans still be around in this kind of environment? Maybe they will. Maybe I'm just assuming wrong here. But I feel like the humans maybe aren't around anymore. Look at this guy, it's like a kind of meditation type scenario. He's in touch with the cosmos. What is this? That is weird, so he's just kind of plugged into this robot body, but he's all showing up on his computer screens. So this is Balthazar, and he says, Hey, don't you know not to interrupt a fellow during his transcendental meditation? Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when he received the call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Their memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you helped find Doc. And Clementine... She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one who can get you there. Apparently, she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of his picture. We got Clementine's picture. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you'll be the very first. I'd wish you good luck, but you don't really need it. I believe in you. Aw, oh, thanks, Balthazar. It was nice to meet you finally, my guy. I'm sorry for shutting down earlier, says B12. I'm human, probably the last in the world. Now, look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? Maybe if we can find Clementine, we can restore my memories and get you back home at the same time. We can go back down and find out more from the companions or head onward to Midtown. So we can actually go back and talk to people now. There's Balthazar just chilling. I don't actually know what I want to do, guys. Do we just continue? Or do we want to explore? I feel like we've kind of seen this village and we would just be like talking to random people if we go back. So I might keep going. This food is actually horrible, but it's the only thing around. I'll have to unscrew my front casing if I keep eating this trash. All right, man, don't be a critic of everything. Just enjoy. People call me the Tin Chef. I specialize in upcycling leftovers. Oh, okay, I take it back. Maybe you can criticize. Today's special, Ramen J45, with my special ingredients. Yeah, sorry I uh, had a go at you for complaining, man. I mean, if it's upcycled leftovers, I can't think of anything worse. So we can go back down, we can take this bucket back down. Let's have a quick look around the village, guys, before we go. Why not? I'm not going to do every side quest, but I'll certainly have a talk to people. So, Kundalik, I think it is. It says, oh, hello there. It's been so long since we've had a visitor. Well, except to his damn Zerks, of course. Imagine if we could harness their power, having them run in a wheel or something. Such wasted potential. This one's called Belitz. When I grow up, I want to be like great Aunt Clementine. I wanted to explore like she did, but the grown-ups forbade us to leave the Ant Village. I like how it's called the Ant Village. It's kind of... Kind of sweet name for the place, you know? This is where we came in at the beginning. We've got this guy painting. Did you know there are more than 900 shades of white paint? Don't tell anyone, but I'm creating my own shade of paint. I'm calling it Garbage Brown. Good luck selling that one. Got a little shrine here. Paint cans and stuff. Look at these two, they're very happy and content. Smiling away there. Well, one's actually moody, one's smiling. I do love the smell of fresh paint. It reminds me of, oh wait, 
I can't smell anything. How sad. Oh, no, now it's sad. May is inside her deconstructivist period, so she says. I'm sure she'll become a great artist, if only she could practice elsewhere. Wait, can I spill paint on them? Yeah, we can. Look at that, we're covered them in paint now. Sorry that I ruined your game earlier. Let me talk to you. Oh, I didn't realize it would do it again. I'm sorry. All right, I'm going down. All the way to the bottom floor. Let's see what's down here. There might be a memory, actually. Maybe something we can have a look at. Hop nimbly across. Oh, look, a red plant. Nice. Look at these two. What are you looking for, guys? I was a bellbot many cycles ago, but I've repurposed myself into a treasure hunter. Don't be fooled by the sound of it. It can be hard and gruesome, just like this arm I found. Poor fellow. May he rust in peace. So these two are, like, looking for treasure, and so far they found... Look at that. A bit of treasure in there, a bit of gold. Speak to this one. Some may call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. Okay, Jenkins. Whatever floats your boats. I actually like used to like looking for treasure when I was a kid, though. And I would kind of look for junk and just call it treasure, so I get what they're doing. They're uh, pretty much acting like kids, aren't they, those two? Even though they're robots, they still have the mannerisms of, like, a human child or something. Anyway, let's head back up, guys. All right, this time I'm going to leave those guys well alone. Because I've already messed their game up twice. Take the purple plants. Right, where do we need to go next? I guess we go and like head up a bit further, right? Speak to this guy first. Zzz, electric zerk everywhere. I don't think we can talk with that guy. He's just chilling out. Oh, look, a memory. We'll read this. I don't know if you'll want to keep remembering stuff after last time. This language, the companion robots made it up from scratch. How impressive. I remember it happening when I was in the network. I don't know when exactly, but at one time, all the communication started to switch to these symbols. I was stuck at a computer and alone for a long time, so I translated every symbol and word one by one until I was able to understand everything. So he was productive with his time at least. Now that I'm out, and I know their language, I'm curious to hear all they have to say. So we're missing one memory. I don't know if it's from the past area or from this area. I don't know where we need to go next. We need to keep climbing. But... I don't know where we climb. Oh, actually, I think I do. It's the ladder here. Last time we went down the buckets, but we need to climb up the ladder. Let's keep going up. Up and up and up and up. Hey, we found the garden. Maybe she'll have the plants. Look at her head. Look at her little hat. And she's got a little watering can. Aww. Mallow. Hello, buddy. How are you? Did you know that Aunt Clementine taught us how to grow special plants that can live without sunlight? I had a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? It's still missing some colours, though. I'm missing a yellow plant, a red one, and yes, a purple plant. We've already found the red and the purple ones. If only someone small and agile could get them for me. Okay, well, I'll give you this one. Oh, wow, it's so pretty. Thank you. Could you find the others for me, please, please? All right, here's another one. Oh, I heard that's a rare plant. Thank you. Can you find the others? Uh, well, there's only one more to find. Oh, I can see it, I think. Look, yellow plants. Nice. Okay, so that's the final plant, so we can get out of here now. We can go in. No, I didn't want to get out. That was close. I almost went all the way down. That would have been really bad. Sometimes the automated jumping kind of backfires on you when you're playing this game. Okay, let's talk to Marlo. Or Mallow, whatever her name is. Or his name is, or its name is. 
I love the colour, thanks buddy. You found them all, thank you so much, here's your reward, take my badge. Oh nice, we got a plant badge. It looks so good with it. Well, take care now, see you friend. See you too. I'll speak to this guy as well. Hey buddy, this is Dav. Pfft, I'm bored. Aunt Clementine used to hold classes here. We learned a lot of cool stuff. We're gonna go meet Clementine. In fact, if we have a look at her picture, if we examine this, you can see... We've got something on the back there. Don't know what that means. But yeah, you can see she's very happy looking and she's actually with... I can't remember what that robot's name was. I think we've seen that robot before though, right? Let's show it to B12. This is a picture of Clementine and Balthazar. Oh, there we go. He told us to find her. She's an outsider too. There's also a series of symbols written on the back of the pictures. So he doesn't know what the symbols are either. Right, well, I guess we head up. Try and get out of this place, out of the ant village. And I think we need to go to a place called Midtown next. So that's where we'll be heading next. Man, this is getting really high. I'm glad we're playing as a cat and not a human. Because I feel like any human would just get vertigo right now. Let's say goodbye to the ant village. It was nice being here. Lovely people, lovely atmosphere. But we've got to head back out into the heart of darkness once again. Look at this. We're in... I don't know, like a tunnel of some kind. Kinda looks a bit like, um, like a subway system or something, doesn't it? Oh, it is a subway system. That's why. <laughs> That's why it looks like one. Can we just get on the train and go? I assume it probably doesn't work, because otherwise we could just head back up to the surface on it, right? Look, this is a subway station. I had completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride to anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning after saying goodbye to my family at home. I remember I was doing this for them, but they're gone now. It was so long ago. I feel sorry for him. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? And that is what we need to find out, guys. Anyway, we're near Midtown now. Let's find this Clementine. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. Hopefully so. Look, 62% done. Guys, it seems like we're getting towards the end of this game. So I think what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to head up into Midtown and then we're going to end the episode and then next episode we'll pick up looking for Clementine in Midtown, okay? So I don't think there are any memories down here. So we'll head straight upstairs and into Midtown. Here we go. Look, a memory. There are so many books here. The Turing Test Legacy, The Ethics of Artificial Intelligence. I recognise some of these. Did I have a library? I remember nothing was quite like the smell of books and the turn of a page. It was a feeling almost like comfort. A book was like spending time with someone. That's kind of nice. We've missed two memories so far, or I have. So sorry for that, guys. Let me talk to this person as well. The Doc. Won't say anything. Ah, oh, there we go. Now, will you speak to us? No. Let's change the music. Hey, I like it. Funky. So this is the perfect place to end today's episode as we're about to head on into Midtown. So next episode, we'll pick it up. We'll go into Midtown and we'll basically see if we can find Clementine and hopefully get to the service. I am going to try and wrap up this game in the next episode. So far I've really enjoyed this game, we've got some more of those horror elements in this episode as well, and of course it's always fun spending time with a cat, and a little cute robot companion, as he is there. 
So yeah guys, I will see you in the next episode, hopefully you've been enjoying my playthrough of Stray, and if you have, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.